Hey, what's up, guys? We're back again with one of the new highest-ranked P.E.K.K.A. decks in Clash Royale. Usually, P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam struggles to find its way through towards towers. With all of the skeletons, distractions in the meta, and goblins everywhere, you can't do much. But with this P.E.K.K.A. Graveyard deck, all you have to do is focus on defending, which is pretty easy with Executioner Tornado to clobber any big push, Electro Wizard to stun all of your opponent's stuff, and P.E.K.K.A. for a huge amount of power. When your opponent overcommits just once, you can use your counter-pushing units with a Graveyard and Freeze to make them pay immediately. Once you get to double or triple Elixir, this deck quickly evolves to become one of the best decks in Clash Royale. You'll be able to afford all of your high-cost cards, your opponent won't be able to break through your rock-solid defenses, and your graveyard will get directly on tower for a ton of damage. This is my favorite P.E.K.K.A. deck for the new meta, so let's go jump straight some games and assert dominance. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos. Lots of love to everyone that's using Creator Code Sir Tag to support the channel. Alright, we got a game against Mr. Egg. So first things first, we want him to make the first play. Our deck does not work until double or triple elixir most of the time. I mean, we can get some superb freezes and some lucky plays early on, but typically when you're going for a big P.E.K.K.A. push, it's going to work a little bit better in double elixir when you can actually afford everything. So I can go for a tornado on top of this royal ghost, and then I want to go in for an electro wizard here on top of the goblins. The only thing is, if I Electro Wizard, it's going to take some damage, and that's good for us. We don't want him to activate King Tower. If the Electro Wizard was at full HP, he can use a Tornado to activate King Tower against Graveyard, and that would lose me the game. Oh, I really wanted to freeze that. Oh my gosh, if only. If only my Phoenix was immune to Log. The Egg now dies to Log and Bar Barrel, so it's a pretty big difference compared to what it used to be. It's still the best card in the game, but, you know, it's a little bit slightly worse. I'm going to go in for the Phoenix here, and ooh, this is sketchy. I mean, this Royal Giant might even straight up take my entire tower, but wait, wait, wait. The King Tower is going to stop the Goblins. Guys, I think I defended simply because I activated King Tower with that Royal Ghost earlier. That was huge. And I can go for a Graveyard here. He doesn't have Goblins to distract the P.E.K.K.A. What is he planning on doing? I'm excited to find out, because I don't think it's going to work that well for our homie. Especially if he loses the Hunter here. Then the P.E.K.K.A. is going to lock on the tower. We still have Graveyard Skeletons on the other side. And even if he does that, I'm going to go in for a freeze. So then he can't go and pull our P.E.K.K.A. off of the tower. And we've done destructive damage on both sides. And now he's going to lose his Fisherman. You can't lose your Fisherman before that, man. I know he wanted to expedite his journey to heaven, but he couldn't go so soon. I'm going to go for Goblins here. And hopefully with the Electro we're able to stop the Royal Giant from getting two hits on our tower. Oh my gosh. Let's freaking go. I'm definitely going to lose my right-hand tower. So I need to somehow take the right-hand one from him too. So this is still a game. This is still a little bit sketchy. I'm going to go for the Executioner here. I don't know if it's worth it. He could Fireball or Lightning. If he has Fireball, he would have done it. He 100% has Lightning. Okay, that might be better for me to go in for a Graveyard right now since I still have the Executioner alive and I can go Freeze on the King Tower as well. Wait, he's lining it up for me. What a nice sir. What a stupendously nice person. If I go in for a Tornado here, I think that the Executioner is going to die. So that was pretty bad on our end. But he doesn't have Log since he used it on defense. So we can conveniently go in for Goblins. He's not able to pull all four of the Goblins at once. Too many for you, my dude. Wait, is there any chance I defend the tower? That would be ridiculous. We have 253 HP on the tower and then he lightnings. Oh no. I kind of knew he had lightning. You guys knew he had lightning. We all knew that was going to happen. If I Phoenix in the middle and I wait for my Phoenix to die and then I use a freeze here, we can just make sure that our Phoenix respawns, hopefully. I'm just going to freeze now. Yeah, the Phoenix is definitely going to die, unfortunately. But we're doing a lot of damage to the tower. Wait, that skeleton gave us another little love tap. He's going to go for Royal Giant. We could pull it closer to the three crown, which would be hilarious. I'm going to Electro Wizard first and foremost. And yeah, I'm going to go and do this. <laughs> I'm going to go for Goblins. And I don't think that Electro Wizard is going to die anytime soon. We can go for a Graveyard and a Freeze and put this man out of his misery. As you guys can see, if you're lucky enough to play against anyone that has Rail Giant, and you have P.E.K.K.A., Electro Wizard, and Tornado, they're always going to struggle to find damage. All right, so getting into this one, you guys might be laughing at me for doing this, but I'm going to go in for a Phoenix on the right-hand side so I can activate King Tower conveniently with our Skeleton Barrel. So if you guys know that placement, you don't take any damage on your towers if you use that specific Tornado placement against Skeleton Barrel. And since I Phoenixed in the right-hand side, it allows me to build up a much bigger push. Wait, this could be absurd. All I need is one Skeleton hit on top of the Dark Goblin, and it's dead. Let's go! He's going to lose the Cannon Cart, the Dark Goblin, and he's going to take massive damage. The Phoenix will also explode, maybe even able to kill some of the Goblins. Aw, oh, the Goblins weren't eager to walk into the Phoenix Bomb. It's all good, though. It's also weird to say Phoenix Bomb, like... I guess the phoenix gets resurrected and then because of the resurrection there's a whole bunch of flames so then you get value and fire and stuff i don't know it worked out pretty well for us though i'm gonna go goblins here to pull back the majority of the skeletons and also force out a log or something from our opponent oh he's gonna have golden knight in this deck that's terrible for me 
Uh, not a huge fan of playing against that. It does a lot of damage if you get a good... Oh, no. That was exactly what I was saying. But I thought that the Executioner was far enough away that it wouldn't dash. Huh. I guess Executioner is so beefy that he takes up multiple tiles. So then he's hypothetically closer to the tower since he's so freaking fat. Come on, Axie. Don't do that to me, bro. I'm going to Phoenix here on the Dark Goblin. We are able to kill that. And we're in a really bad spot. Oh my gosh. I hate being in these type of positions because you just know that I have to make some absurd comeback or I'm screwed. So I can maybe go in for like a P.E.K.K.A. here in the back and to start to slow roll. It's hard to get a P.E.K.K.A. at the river and ever give value from it. Maybe, I mean, even if I drop like the P.E.K.K.A. in the back, I'm taking too much damage from the Spear Goblins. I can't afford to have that happen to me. So Electro Wizard, please shock him. Make him just like fry his phone so he disconnects and has nothing for us. All right, we're going to go for Pekka here. Fortunately, the Pekka will not allow that annoying Golden Boy to go and dash on my tower. If he goes in for a Tornado, he could surprise us. Oh, man. I think I'm barely able to afford the Executioner in time. Please don't retarget on my tower. Please don't do it. Okay, good. Getting that Executioner down meant the difference between life and death. I can go in for a Graveyard, and then I can freeze. And Double Elixir, this is where the deck really pops off. We're going to go in Tornado. Oh, that was so big! Wait, the Executioner is going to lock into the tower too. That was gigantic. I can freeze, and then I can go in for our goblins on top of the cannon cart. And I know with the King Tower activated, we're not going to lose the tower there. Wait, wait, I might be able to defend. We have 30 seconds remaining, so I just have to hold the door right now. Please go and click your Golden Knight ability. Please overcommit. I need you to. All right, this is a beautiful Electro Wizard because we're able to go and kill the Skeleton Army. I waited. Patience is a virtue, and it is paying off dividends. With 19 seconds remaining, he's got to go in order. He's got to go big or go home, and he is going big with a huge amount of offense here. We're going to freeze. I think we're able to captivate everything. With the Tornado, we are able to kill it, and then I can go in for Goblins right after, and we walk away with a win. That Tornado was one of the luckiest things I've done in my life. I totally did not expect to hit a Skeleton Barrel 2, but when we hit it, we hit a home run. Tornado pulled away our opponent's chances of winning that game right from his fingertips. He had that game won, and that was a ton of fun. All right, so get into this game against the Royale Rulers. What's up, dude? I'm ready for this. Goblins at the start is pretty peculiar to split. I don't see people doing that because you don't get damage on either side with those goblins. However, if you have plans of going in for a goblin drill or a miner, you could be one obnoxious sir. I can tornado this Dark Goblin directly into the Phoenix, so I'm gonna go and do that. I don't want to waste too much time. Hey, let's go! No. No, that's unfortunate. Dude, that's lame. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of damage. And my Phoenix isn't gonna respawn. I was hoping my Phoenix would die on my side of the map. But, he's also down a bit of Elixir. Hmm. If I go Executioner, can I kill the Goblins? Can my P.E.K.K.A. somehow maneuver its way to the tower? I don't think so. He's got a Dark Goblin. Is there a chance he activates King Tower with this? That's the worst thing in the world. That Executioner is just not working so well for us. Wait, is it going to hit the tower? Oh my gosh, he's going to hit the Goblins? Whoa, wait, what the heck? Dude, I said it wasn't working that well for us. And then it proceeds to give us infinite value, hitting the tower, cleaning up Goblins, and forcing out a mirrored up spirit that gave him nothing at all. And he loses the Dark Goblin Electro Wizard afterward. Wait, this game is kind of turning around. Yes, I'm down in the depths of despair with a pretty bad start, but I believe Pekka will allow us to bounce back. So I'm going to go for the Phoenix here, and we'll see what he's up to. Obviously, there's a chance he rockets this or something crazy. I don't know. This just seems like a very peculiar deck with giant skeleton and goblin barrel. So I'm just uh, guessing and living in this man's world, and you guys are too. We're going to go in for a graveyard and hopefully be able to freeze something of value. If not, then we'll be a sad sir. I kind of want to freeze early so my Phoenix doesn't die, because if it dies, then he'll be able to log the goblins and the Phoenix egg and get value from both of them. I was like, well, you want to log early to probably go and kill the Phoenix, right? And then he's like, nah, dude, I don't care. Okay, so we can finally activate King Tower with this Goblin Barrel, which is very nice. We aren't going to take too much damage. Unfortunately, the Giant Skeleton, you know, did soak up a little bit of damage. So then the Goblin was able to get more on my tower, but it's all good. I can slow roll a P.E.K.K.A. here. I'm not super scared of him running Royal Giant, even though I should be. There's a high chance he's got another weird win condition in this deck. Most of the time, when you see Giant Skeleton with Goblin Barrel, there's more from where that came from. Like, typically Royal Giant or Mega Knight or... Oh, oh yep, here mirror, mirror Giant Skeleton at the river. That too. Yep, that's uh, that's kind of what I was expecting at this point. All right, so the Executioner is able to kill that, fortunately for us. Hopefully, I don't know anymore. I'm going to go for an Electro Wizard because I'm scared. Mom picked me up. The Tornado here, so then the Phoenix is hopefully able to kill the Dark Goblin. Nice stuff. If I freeze, this could be valuable. Please, please, please. Yes! That was awesome. I spent four elixir for four, but I don't care. That's awesome. I'm chilling with it because I think that the Phoenix is able to kill the giant skeleton without it locking onto my tower. 
And then, oh my gosh, please stop the madness. Bro, I hate this. I think my electrodes are going to die to the bomb too. It's ridiculous that he's getting value like this. I'm the Phoenix player here, not you. <laughs> All right, we're going to go Executioner. I think that we're going to be able to get the respawn, which is really nice that the Dark Goblin decided to kill that on our side of the map so we could safely and securely get that respawn guaranteed. I'm going to freeze, and I'm going to go for Goblins. Ooh, wait, those Goblins are kind of bad. I don't know if they're going to stay in front. I just wanted to get them onto the Giant Skeleton as soon as we could. Ooh, his tower's at 300 HP. I know I see a little target, and it's looking like candy for me, but I don't know if I can take it. The Goblin's going to lock and load, potentially. I'm going to go in for the Phoenix to finish off the Goblins. I'm going to eat the Dark Goblin there because it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to Electro Wizard right after. I'm immediately going to go in for the Graveyard. I'm going to immediately freeze whenever I can, and I think we'll be able to stop him in his tracks and win the game. So we're going to freeze here on top of the Goblins. We should be able to whisk away that Dark Goblin so it's not able to target the Skeletons, and that should be all she wrote. GG, well played, and peace out. It was a pleasure taking all your crowns. Even though we were down a ridiculous amount of damage, we were able to freeze our tower HP and somehow find a way back into the game. Hey, we got a game against a loyal fighter, apparently. Wow, he's got loyal in his name and in his clan name. Does that mean he's a super trustworthy person? Can I trust you with my elixir? Can I trust you with my love? I'm gonna give you some love at the start and see what you do. Can you reciprocate and give me some positive elixir traits? Nope, you're just gonna say oops, okay. Well, I'm going to go for Phoenix in the back because that's our plan to attack. We want you to go and spam into us. we got P.E.K.K.A. and we've got a lot of good answers for you. Wait, can I activate King Tower with these goblins? I think I can. You got any proof on that? Let's go! So if they go goblins at the river and you have Tornado, you can activate King Tower. If he's got Graveyard, I think he just lost the game. I'm really praying that our opponent has Graveyard because this is the way that I like to play. No, he's got Log. Oh, no. Is this a Royal Giant deck? Dude! If it was anything else, I would have won the game with that Goblins. But instead, I just took damage for no reason at all. Wait, he's going to try to Fisherman here and try to activate King Tower. So we want to go Goblins. He's not going to be able to do that with our XE. I knew he was going to do it. See, we got to make those predictions or we're going to get screwed. That's so important to do. Oh my gosh. It's still going to happen. <laughs> That's literally one of the most painful experiences imaginable. I don't win this game anymore. He has activated King Tower. He's got a Royal Giant deck with Goblins. I've successfully lost this. Even though I tried to make a really good play at the start, I made a high probability play expecting, hey, there's a Goblins. Maybe he's got a Hog Raider deck. Maybe he's got a Graveyard deck. He ended up having Royal Giant, so my King Tower activation doesn't matter, but his definitely does. My Graveyard that goes on his tower, I just will not be able to get damage for the rest of the game. Yeah, so there just really wasn't any way to win this one. Let's bounce on our next game and bounce back there. We got another game against Alex Money. I've played against this guy before, and I can't wait for more. Last time we were able to beat him, hopefully this game is going to be the same. I'm going to go for the Executioner on top of Goblins, which is never really a great trade, because I am dropping a negative three trade. Oh, he's going to go for a log on an Executioner? Wait, what? Was he trying to log his own Goblins? I'm confused. <laughs> this is going to be really good for us because he doesn't have login cycles. So we can go in for our own Goblins and, you know, take the power to him. Give me some damage. Okay, we don't get anything from that, really. He went in for Goblins again. He cycled back to them so freaking fast. That's unbelievable that you got back to them that quick, man. Wait, can I activate King Tower with his Miner? Most of the time you can't activate King Tower with Miners when they're, like, cycled on your opponent's side of the map. But we somehow found a way to do it. Let's go. Okay, he's likely going to go for Royal Delivery on the egg, so I won't get any value with the Phoenix at all. Maybe if he pulls the Phoenix backward and I am able to somehow afford, like, a freeze, he maybe make it work. No, he's going to go Royal Delivery 100% on this. So there's no chance. Eh? That's not happening. Wait, if I freeze? If I freeze? Please, please, please. No, the Electric Spirit stunned it! Oh my gosh, that Electric Spirit was unbelievably clutch from our opponent. He even went in for a miner because he was freaking out and expecting the Phoenix to respawn. Wow, you guys can really notice the nerf there, despite it still being the best card in the game. Sometimes it won't respawn if your opponent overcommits and drops everything they have. Whereas before, when they, you know, dropped all their elixir, it would still respawn in their face and they lose the game. Fair and balanced in some situations. <laughs> okay, so he's going to Inferno Tower. You guys already know the deal. If I go in for a peck in the back, it's definitely going to die to him rocketing and getting way too much value. So you want to peck on the side where he doesn't have any damage. It's really, really important to do that. I'm going to go in for Electro Wizard so we can stop the Electro Spirit. Let's go. We caught a Miner too. And he's going to go for a Log for Major Elixir. He's dropping Log, Miner, Electro Spirit. Six Elixir down the drain for our opponent there. So yeah, I guess he's feeling frisky. I might want to go in for a graveyard and then freeze on top of the Inferno Tower and the Goblins. I don't know how well this is going to work, but I have to try it. We need to get a lot of damage with this P.E.K.K.A. and this graveyard, but it doesn't look like it's happening. He's going in for the nine yards of defense. 
with Electric Spirit and Rail Delivery and Dark Prince, he is pulling out every single stop. The good thing for us is we've got goblins to stop his miner and catch that, so I'll take that every time we can. I'm an Electro Wizard here. Please stop it. Oh, it did not stop the Dark Prince in time. I should have dropped it slightly lower. If I dropped it slightly lower, that would have been better for me, for sure. I'm going to go for a graveyard, and then since we have freeze, we can maybe make something happen here, depending on what is going down. Yeah, I'm going to freeze on top of the majority of the goblins, and then I'm going to go for the executioner on the right-hand side. It'll still pull the Dark Prince, and then it'll go in the side that we want. Yo, the Phoenix locked onto the tower for two shots and death damage, and also pushing back all of our opponent's stuff and damaging it. As you guys can see, Phoenix Graveyard is pretty strong. We're going to go in for the Electro Wizard here, and I should be able to stop that Dark Prince and pull it, which is great. We can go for another Graveyard. He's dropping Goblins, so those are definitely dead. We're going to force out an Electro Spirit and or a Dark Prince from our opponent and a Royal Delivery too. This is looking pretty good for us. I'm going to go for a Freeze since we still have the Inferno Tower is the only targeting card of our Skeletons. <laughs> so that's good. We got a lot of damage there. This one is going to be a photo finish, though, because you guys already know he's going to go in for Rockets soon. Yep, there it is. Rocket value to the moon, you are doing 591 damage with each rocket. It's one of the most obnoxious win conditions in Clash Royale because it feels like it's not even damage that you earn. But he's playing pretty well on defense, I guess. I'm going to go for a freeze here, and then we are able to kill the Electric Spirit. That was very good. I can Tornado so we can finish off the Goblins and maybe put it in alignment with the Executioner. Come on, Executioner. Execute the tower. You literally have one job. Wait, wait. Phoenix respawn. Phoenix respawn. I'm built. Different. No, he trolled me. Why is this guy playing so well? What the heck? Oh my gosh, my Phoenix needs to respawn in this face to make him a disgrace for running Rocket. I'm going to go in for a Graveyard, and then that Phoenix is definitely dead, but maybe we can go in for an Electro Wizard so we can reset the Inferno Tower so that the Phoenix Egg doesn't die. Oh my gosh, that Phoenix Egg is going to survive. It's going to survive. Finally, the Phoenix is living large. He has to Rocket this. He has to Rocket this. He's not Rocketing it. What is this man doing? He is one wild child trying to get away without the Rocket. I can go in for Goblins here, and then I can Tornado everything as well, but the Phoenix just took him out. Wow. I didn't even notice that the Phoenix won the game there. It simply doesn't make sense. Even after multiple nerfs, Phoenix completely carries. It put our deck on its back and made the comeback possible when Rocket Cycle seemed inevitable. Like, subscribe for more daily videos, and have an incredible rest of your day.